Hello everybody, Mr. Nomad Ben here. Today's adventure, we're going to go to a hidden gem that's in the city of Dalton today. I feel like nobody really knows what it is if they go by it, like on a little walk or they drive by it. But we're going to go check it out. And I need to do a couple of things before we head over there. And I really need a haircut. So I'm going to go get a haircut first. And then we're going to make our way over to this spot that's in Dalton, Georgia. And I'm inviting you guys to come with me. And here we go. Today's trip, we're going to head onto my car known as the Fet Jet. I normally get my hair cut at Great Clips, but when I checked it, it's a 51 minute wait. But I always have an alternative, and that'll be Sport Clips. So I'm going to go ahead and check in Sport Clips. Estimated wait time is about 12 minutes. Sounds good to me. On my way to get my hair cut. And I just arrived. I'm gonna go inside to let them know I'm here. I'm gonna get a haircut, do a couple of things, and we'll be on our way to the hidden spot in Dalton. Well, now that I got my hair cut, I really needed to trim around the ears and thin out the top, but let's get going to check out that spot. But first things first, I gotta pick up a few things for the homestead. Now before I go inside, I gotta gear up. This is the way. Well, I got a couple of things for my homestead. Things that are important like toilet paper, dishwashing stuff, garbage bags. But temptation called me and I had to get this. A Baby Yoda t-shirt. Now that I'm leaving Walmart, it's time to take you over to the area I said I'd take you to. Okay, to get to this particular location in Dalton, you gotta go to Harlan Godfrey Silverton Park. And then you gotta go for a little walk, maybe less than a quarter of a mile, even an eighth of a mile, onto the road off of Tibbs Road. And then there's a particular spot that we're gonna go to. But other than that, after we're done checking out this place, we'll go for a little walk in the park. Well, this walk is probably a little further than I thought. Let's make it between a quarter to a half mile to get there from Silverton Park, but... You know, exercise does us good, right? Well, if you want to check out this particular area that we're going to, it's probably best that you park your car at Central Church of Christ if you don't want to walk a half mile to get to the location from Silverton Park. But where that green light is, is basically where we're heading. So we're getting close. Okay, so we're finally at the location where I wanted to take you guys. Right behind me is the bridge over I-75 Interstate. But what's special about this particular bridge is what is attached to the gate 
along the bridge line. I had to take it to the microphone on my computer because the audio was just so loud. But I promise as I make more of these videos, I'll get better at my audio. The bridge was so loud as I was walking and explaining what the origin of this bridge really is. And from what I read in an article based on this bridge is that it was inspired by people that live in Paris, France. It turns out that people in France like to use bike locks, padlocks, locker combination locks, and place them on bridges. But what they do, they write the names of their lovers onto the locks and they put it onto the bridge. As you can see, there are so many locks from padlocks, combination locks, and even bike locks all throughout this bridge overlooking the interstate. As you can see there, there are like five in a row right there. And as you walk behind me, there are like dozens of them. And that's just the tip of the iceberg on this thing. Every inch of this bridge is covered in padlocks. In a few feet, here is a mother load. I believe this is the mother load of padlocks, just right here in the middle of the bridge. And you know, I mean, just look at this. Amazing. There's got to be hundreds of padlocks on this bridge. It's just, it's just ridiculous. But it's ridiculously awesome. And they look a bike lock. Well, anyway, I think this bridge, you know, it's nice that something like this is a little something precious that Dalton has. It's a hidden gem, you know? And if it wasn't for an idea like this, you know, this would just be a normal, boring bridge. But someone came up with the idea, inspired by what they've learned in France. They brought it back to this small town, small carpet town of Dalton. And they made this bridge something very special. And I think every townsperson of Dalton should definitely do this. But that's just my opinion. Look, a padlock. And there's another one. And I believe, oh, there's the other one. And another one, another one. And another one. We just walked on one part of the bridge to the other. All nothing but padlocks, just all across. And I feel like that this part of Dalton does not get much recognition. And I wanted to share that with you folks. But you know, I actually brought something with me. There's a reason why I had to go to Walmart other than just picking up stuff from my homestead. Because the interstate was so loud, I have to go back to the microphone. But I have a padlock here that says Ben, Lindsay, and Oliver, if you could read this crappy handwriting. And my two loves in my life, I wanted to lock our legacy onto the bridge. So I found a location on the bridge, and right where I'm standing, that part of the road on the interstate leads to Florida. And why is that important? Because that road leads to Walt Disney World. And that's where Lindsay and I have met. And I wanted to put our lock on the road that will take us to the magical place on Earth. That was a pretty cool bridge that we saw, right? I kind of felt like it was time that Dalton gave that bridge just a tad more recognition because I'm pretty sure there are plenty of people that have walked around that bridge and tourists, even townspeople, they're probably thinking, what the heck is going on with that bridge? Why is there padlocks? And I thought the same thing when I moved down here seven years ago and a mutual friend of my wife's told me about this. And of course, I had to read the article to make sure that my facts are correct. So if you live in Dalton and you're watching these videos and you've never seen that bridge, it's just right off of North Tibbs Road. You just keep walking down toward Dalton State College. Bring a padlock with you. Write your husband's name, boyfriend's name, wife's name, girlfriend's name, your dog's name, your cat's name, grandma's name, whatever. And lock it on the gate of the bridge. I just thought that was pretty cool, so... 
I just want to give that bridge some recognition. So if you're watching this, this is part one of my adventure because I really just want to go ahead and take you guys over to Silverton Park because it's just right there and I'm just going to keep moving on from here. So I'm going to end this video as part one of our adventure. So I'm going to pick up from part two right away. So if you're tuning in, stay tuned for part two of this part one of two adventure on Dalton Hidden Gem in Silverton Park. That's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed yourself, give this video a thumbs up, show that you cared and you liked this particular video. Don't forget to hit the notifications button so you can see more content coming from me. You can also follow me on Instagram as well. And if there's other suggestions you would want me to do on my adventures in the Northwest Georgia, Southeast Tennessee, Dalton, Chattanooga area, even in parts of Alabama or North Carolina, leave the comments below. I'll see what I can do. I also love to eat. Give me some places to go eat at. I'll give you my thoughts and opinions about it, about the food that you want me to try. Also, I do home vlogs as well. I love to cook on my grill a lot. So if there's anything you want me to try cooking on the grill, I'll look into it. I'm all about having some fun. So comments below and I'll see what I can do. And I cannot wait to bring you guys more adventures around this area. And when times get better, I'm planning on expanding a lot farther than just this little bubble. But right now, we're just going to have fun around here for a bit. Until next time, my friends, sayonara. And have a wonderful day. Get ready for part two so we can continue.